let me uh, walk you through my full shot routine. And uh, walking up to the ball is, is the first part of it. And I sort of feel what the lie is going to be like. Right now we're on the 16th hole at the Haven Country Club. And the ball is going to be above my feet a little bit. Uh, walking up, I could kind of see the contour of the land. So I know that I've got to take a little bit of that into account. Uh, the ball should move a little bit from right to left for me uh, when the ball gets above my feet. So I'll get the yardage. Uh, once I get the yardage, I'm going to look at things like, is it cold out today? Which way the wind is blowing? Uh, is it humid or is it dry today? Uh, has the ball been traveling? Uh, if I'm on the 16th hole, I, I know if the ball's been traveling on that specific day. Uh, Distance-wise, it's going a little bit further or shorter. So once I get that all into account, I elevation, you know, we're on 16. I forgot about elevation, so I, I take into elevation. I select my club. And once I select my club, I'm going to stand, oh, 15 feet or so behind the ball. And I'm going to make my practice swing. And as soon as I come through the hitting area, I can envision a ball going out there and going to my target the way I want it to. Uh, this lie is not too severe. If it was really severe, I might take a few practice swings, maybe one or two near the ball um, to get a sense of how much I'm going to adjust. But since this is, is relatively flat with just a tiny bit of uh, ball above my feet, uh, I take my practice swing on all my tee shots and most of my approach shots directly in line with uh, the hole so that the second that the club starts coming through my practice swing, I could envision that ball traveling out to where that uh, target is that I want it to go. And then from there, now I'll stand back behind it, create this line that my my club head's going to be towards where the target I want it to be. And I can only see that, in, for me, directly behind uh, my, my target and the ball. So I walk in. For me, I put my right hand down first. I make sure that it's lined up to my target. And then I step my feet in to get my ball position right. Now I add my left hand to the, the club. I give a, a wiggle or two, one more look at the target and I hit. So that's uh, my routine. Oh, not bad. That's my routine for how I hit full shots. Remember, I do that from the tee, and I also do that in the fairway. Anytime I'm making a full swing, uh, what I just talked about, how I think, that's kind of walking you through what I do. All right, we got a short game shot here, and uh, let me just walk you through what I do, my pre-shot routine. It's a little bit different than my long game. As I walk past the ball, I notice what kind of lie it is. So if the ball is sitting down in deep rough, I'm going to hit a different shot than if it's uh, medium like it is now. And also, if it's sitting way up on top on the top of the grass, i got to make some adjustments. So that I am keeping in the back of my head so that I know what I'm uh, looking at. When I take the sh shot, I walk up a little bit and see where the ball needs to land for the lie and the trajectory that I'm going to hit it. And I know a lot of people are thinking right now, well, I can't control any of that. Well, the first step in being able to control it is thinking about it and, and trying to do it. Um, so I'm going to hit a medium high shot here. It's going to land uh, two thirds of the way to the hole on the left, left of the hole by a couple feet. And I'm going to let the, the slope bring it to the right. And so different from my full swing, I'm going to take my practice swing right next to the ball or close to the ball. So I can kind of get a sense of the distance that I need to swing to produce a shot. Then I'm going to put my right hand down, get into uh, a good stance, a good posture. I'm going to focus in on where I want to land that ball, come back and hit the shot. So not bad. It, it uh, a little bit left uh, of where I wanted to land it, and the ball ended up left, which was good. Trajectory was was how we wanted it. Um, evaluating after the shot is really important. Also, uh, if you've hit the ball too far, really try to take a, into account where did you hit it in the club face. If you hit the ball too far and you hit it low on the club face, you can't really evaluate whether the size swing that you took is correct. Uh, we need to hit the ball into the center of the face or close to the center uh, so that we can get the right trajectory. 
Uh, so that's uh, a quick overview of my pre-shot and post-shot uh, short game routine. All right, let me explain a little bit about my putting routine. Uh, it's a little bit different than my full shot routine and my short game routine. So when I'm uh, putting, one, two, three, four, five, one of the things that I always do at a force of habit is I pace off the putt. I know this is 15 feet now because it's five steps. Uh, that's just my key when I go to the practice putting green before I play uh, and I know the distance of a putt, I kind of key in on my feel. Uh, so I look from both sides of the hole. I also stop at what I think is about the apex of the putt. Uh, and then I go back and I kind of have this imaginary line that's going to go to the hole and I draw that back and I, I'm now picking a spot right here. Uh, no, that's too far. So I, I pick that spot maybe 12 to 18 inches. So I'm going to pick this one right here. I'm going to focus on that spot while I take two practice strokes. That's the size of the stroke I want to take for this putt. And then I line my putter up to that spot. Now that I'm all lined to that spot, which I know is eventually the, the line of the hole, or the, I mean the line of my putt, my break, now I can forget about my alignment. I focus in on, on the distance. I look back at the ball, and I go. Ugh, so close. So that's my putting routine, and, and I just walked you through it uh, very... Um, ad lib in terms of, of how I putt and uh, hopefully that'll help you. I would recommend that you kind of write down the steps and then eventually it'll become uh, second nature.